I'm Janelle Sultan holtmeyer Associate Editor of Modern Distribution Management, and today I'm talking with Barb Ross, Manager of Sales and Marketing for Timken Drives, LLC. Hi, Barb. How are you today? I'm doing well, Janelle. And how are you? I'm doing great. So in general, how is business going at Timken? Well, as we talked today, the company has not released the fourth quarter earnings. Timken reported sales of $1.1 billion in the third quarter of 2012, a decrease of 14% from the same period a year ago. Timken posted sales of $3.9 billion in the first nine months of 2012, which was up slightly from the same period in 2011. Are there any areas where you've been seeing particular strength or opportunity over the past year? So during the third quarter of 2012, progress continued on planned steel investments to bring the immediate bar finishing line on stream, start up the inline forge press, and prepare the site for new vertical continuous caster. Also during the third quarter, the company returned $83 million in capital to shareholders through quarterly dividends and the repurchase of 1.5 million shares of company stock. Great. While demographics have been shifting in this industry, women are still significantly outnumbered in distribution and manufacturing. How did you get involved in this business? I was a third generation. My grandfather and father were in the industry. I was very close with my father and spent a lot of time with him. He would share the projects he was working on and would take me to his office. And I found it to always be something different, and I found it very interesting and challenging. And women were not predominant in this industry. I saw this as an opportunity to learn more, see different industries, and not be confined to one specific type of job day in and day out. Being involved in this industry has given me the opportunity to learn finance, to learn sales, to learn marketing, to learn operations, warehousing. And this has always kept me challenged and interested. And I just have never looked back and regretted any type of position that I've held within the companies. And as I look back, I can always pinpoint what I have learned, the opportunities that I have that have made me a stronger person. Meeting different people, different personalities, they have all taught me a lot about life as well as the business. And as a recap, it just is an industry that is always motivating and always changing to keep the momentum and the challenge in front of us. What advice can you offer for other women considering distribution or manufacturing as a career path? Be willing to listen and build a strong network of people who will be mentors. Accept that in many cases, you will have to work harder to be recognized, but the rewards and the challenges are fulfilling and worth the investment. Were there any challenges that you had to overcome that you'd like to share your experience about? I think some of the challenges and the hurdles that I had to come over is going into an industry that was male-dominated and being able to understand that there would be people that may not be accepted to a woman in the industry and then how to overcome those challenges. So it took a lot, as I mentioned earlier, of being able to listen It took more time of making sure that whatever I was preparing for, that I really understood and realized that I really would have to know more than probably other associates that were in the industry that were calling on the same people. Jumping over these hurdles gave me a great opportunity to probably learn more, learn more about people, learn more about products, and learn more about the industries in which we were serving. You've been very active over the years in the Power Transmission Distributors Association. Why did you get involved in PTDA, and what are some of the benefits of being an active member? I am a firm believer in being active in organizations that support the industry. PTDA is an excellent organization that provides the opportunity to network, develop strong relationships, and gain additional knowledge through the vast training programs and resources they provide to the industry. Being involved on committees is another area that is very rewarding. I have the opportunity to interact with industry professionals, develop tools and programs to support the industry. Great. So you were selected as PTDA's 2012 Warren Pike Award winner. What does that mean to you? I am so honored to be recognized by the industry. To join a group of people 
that I have the utmost regard for is more than I ever imagined. Many of these people have been my mentors, and I thank them for all their guidance and advice over the years. It reconfirms that the passion and dedication I have for this industry does matter and is recognized. Every day, whether in my personal or professional life, I want to be able to make a difference, and I never want to stop learning or listening. Great. Well, congratulations to you for that award. Thank you. So this last question I have for you is one that we ask of everyone we feature in this segment, and that's, what keeps you awake at night? In other words, what three things do you think managers and executives should be keeping front of mind right now? Many people will be retiring from the industry in the coming years. We need to make sure we have young, talented people who will continue to support the growth of this industry. We also need to continue to make people aware of the tremendous opportunities in this industry. The opportunities are not well known, and we compete for new talent with other industries that younger folks see as more inviting. We must also always stay focused on growing our companies to provide security for our employees and their families. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Barb. And thank you for the opportunity to join you today, Janelle.